Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, physicists, dosimetrists, and geniuses alike to the inaugural Physics Feud. I'm your host, John Supportman Richard. Today, you will be witnessing something never attempted before. We'll be giving medical physicists questions that have to be answered in five seconds or less. And here's the important part. Listen up, physicists. It has to be short answer. That's the key. And I know a lot of you are going to have a hard time with that. <laughs> we surveyed 100 physicists all over the world to get answers to some common physics questions. Now, there's no money to be won here, only the right to call yourself a physics wizard, and most importantly, the opportunity to wear the amazing physics feud jersey. Let's introduce the teams. In the outermost shell, the inverse squares. First off, she's my boss, and she promised me a raise if her team wins. Introducing the lovely Liz. Next up, we have the creator of Easy Fluence, the chief science officer, CSO for those of you who want it short. Meet Alan. If you're missing something in clear check, then you can blame this guy. He still wants the rad formation colors to be purple. Introducing Kevin. And last on this team, he's the one to ask if you want a 10% discount, the lead account manager for all of rad formation. Meet Jacob. All right. On the innermost shell, we have the quantum platers. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a very special guest with us today. He is no Elon Musk, but that's a good thing because your products are not going to catch on fire. He's the CEO of Radformation. Introducing Kurt. She can be found on the racetrack driving the coolest of cars. She's at every premiere of any Star Wars movie. The lovely Christine. He's a Minnesotan. He likes to curl and he's the product manager of our newest product. Welcome, Andrew. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we have a standout physicist. His qualifications include marketing, medical physicist, TikTok extraordinaire, Tyler. Let's play the feud. Please give me Liz and Kurt. Here we go with the first question. We asked 100 physicists what their favorite double APM annual meeting location was. And Liz was actually first. Her internet is a little bit faster than the CEO. Wow. All right, Liz, what is your answer? All right. My guess is Nashville. That was an Nashville. Awesome well, nice. Well done. Is Nashville on the board? Yes, it is. I'm going to go with Vancouver. Vancouver is Vancouver. Well done. Would you like to play or pass, Kurt? Quantum platers are going to play. Well done. Christine is up next. All right, Christine, we asked 100 physicists what their favorite double APM annual meeting location was. And what do you say most people said? I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with Boston. Boston. Is Boston on the board? Ooh, one strike. I'm sorry. That is not on the board. The next person who gets the answer is Andrew. Andrew, your answer to the 100 physicists' favorite place to go to AAPM. I'm going to go Orlando. Orlando. Is that on the board? No, it's not. It is not on the board. Two strikes for you. I'm sorry. Not looking good, Quantum Platers. You may strike out here. Tyler, you have a chance to save it here. What do you think? You know what? Uh, I like Vancouver, but I think Austin, Texas is wonderful. Ooh, I love Texas. Texas is great. Austin's good, but it is not. I agree with you. That is a bummer. I'm sorry. So that's three strikes. And you do not get those points right now. You may have a chance to still get them if the inverse squares do not get one of the answers. Okay, inverse squares, you get one chance. I will uh, elect Liz, your spokesperson, to give one answer. You can get together and choose uh, what you guys think. How do you guys feel about Anaheim? 
I think Anaheim. All right, let's do it. Anaheim. Is Anaheim on the board? And no, it is. Yes, I'm sorry. It is not. But let's reveal the board. The quantum players do get the points. Well done. And my favorite, <laughs> not San Antonio. And that is real. People said not San Antonio. That's surprising. I think Anaheim counts as not San, San Antonio. Isn't it technically right? It's technically right. We have matchup two. Alan and Christine are up, and we have five answers here. Here is the question. Name an organ that is particularly radio sensitive. Ooh, Alan won. Well done, Alan. You get to answer this. What is a particularly radio sensitive organ? Let's do the kidney. You need the top answer here in the kidney. Yes. So that's not the top answer. And Christine, you are in luck because organs are dwindling fast. We have bowel and kidney gone. I'm going to go with the lens. Lenses. Yes. Do we have lens on the board? Yes. Eye lens. Well done. Play or pass? Let's play. Right, guys? We're going to play? Let's do it. Christine's team is the Quantum Platers. We'll go to Andrew. Uh, show me your rectum, John. Uh, no, thank you. But uh, is it on the board? No, it's not. All right. <laughs> so that's one strike. Tyler, what is a radio sensitive organ? I'm going to go with the spinal cord, John. Is spinal cord on the board? Yes, it is. Well done. All right, again, there are five answers to this. You have a chance to clear the board, Kurt. Kurt, what say you is the is a sensitive organ to radiation? Let's go with stew liver. Liver. Is it on the board? Oh no, it's not. All right. Christine, you have a chance to save it here. Um Let's go with, uh, I mean, how explicit do we want to get? Can we go with the reproductive organs? Is she uh, going to say, <laughs> wait, wait, which ones? The I, I, okay, we'll, we'll go with gonads. And yes, I appreciate your sensitive answer. Yes, gonads. Well done. So you cleared the board. Well done. All the points go to Team Quantum Platers. Matchup three. Give me Jacob and Andrew. Here we go. We asked 100 physicists, what is your favorite part of being a physicist? Andrew, with the faster internet, what is your answer? Patience. Helping patients. Well done, Andrew. And first answer, first try, well done. Yeah. Keep it, keep it. Absolutely, yeah. You wanna play? Yeah, absolutely, yeah, okay. Play. Tyler is next. They are killing it right now. They are doing well. Tyler, what is your answer to your favorite part of being a physicist? Now, remember, this is uh, other physicists, not yours. So writing uh, writing in your journal does not count. <laughs> I got to say, uh, just the, the constant challenge. Uh, the challenge, the problem solving? Therapy. Is that? Yes, it is. Well done. On a roll, quantum platers. All right. Next up, Kurt, what? do you think most people like doing as a medical physicist? I'm going to say working with the machines. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> working with the, the linear yes. accelerators? Working with the machines? Cool toys. Okay, we'll give it to you. Cool toys. Yeah, a linear accelerator is kind of cool. I would agree. Or were you talking about like a, like a, a box of water? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Christine, you're up next. What is most people's favorite thing about being a medical physicist? What about getting new equipment? New equipment? Is that like new water in the new box of water? Like new Or like yeah, a new... Like all kinds of new, new yeah, chamber, no. new dad. Sorry, that is not on the answer. N new stuff. No, I'm sorry. That's one X for you, one strike, which isn't too bad. Andrew, back to you. Uh, I'm going to go uh, working in a hospital, John. Working in a hospital, I don't think we're going to give that one to you, but it is close. It's close. Yeah, two strikes. All right. Tyler, back to you. 
Um, you know, in the clinic, I always liked working with, um, you know, with other really qualified individuals, working with bright people. I told you, ladies and gentlemen, he is a smart one. Yes, people, coworkers. That's right. Back to Kurt. What is most people's favorite thing to do as a medical physicist? Uh, cutting edge software. Hmm. No, no. All right. So the inverse squares are, are a little bit behind uh, in point. You just have to get one, Liz. Uh, you, you just need the right one. And it, and it um, I just can't put words in it right now. But what is your answer? Right. What does your team come up with? I, I think we got it. I think we're going to say a good salary, lots of money. Is that on the board? Well done. Nice job. Well done. Back in the game. All right, now it's getting interesting. Give me Tyler and Kevin. Here's the question. Fill in the blank. Blank QA. Tyler answered first. There are four answers to this one. Go ahead, Tyler. Fill in the blank. Blank QA. I'm going to go with machine QA. Machine QA. Is that on the board? I think you're being a little disappointed on that one. That one's not on the board. Kevin, you get to take this one. Blank I'm gonna, QA. I'm going to go with IMRT QA. IMRT QA. Is that on the top board? Do you get to play? Well done. Well done, Kevin. Well done. Pass or play? Uh, We're going to play. We're going to play. They're going to play. Got to go. All for right. It. Kevin's team, the Inter Squares. And we'll go to Jacob first. So blank Q QA, Jacob. Uh... We're going to go with Imaging QA. Imaging QA. I think you're also going to be disappointed with that uh, because that is not on the board. What about Liz? Annual QA. Is Annual QA on the board? Oh, my goodness, it is. Well done, inverse squares. All right, Alan, you're up next. Blank QA. Treatment Planning System QA, TPS QA. Treatment Planning System QA. Is that on the board? No, it is not on the board. Eh. All right, Kevin. Blank QA. I'll go with weekly QA. Weekly QA. Oh. That is not. Oh, my goodness. So, again, four answers. This is one, two, three, four. Now we get the contemplators. They get one answer. Kurt will be the spokesperson for them. Kurt, get your contemplators together and contemplate this answer. Blank QA. I say monthly. Monthly QA. Yeah, let's let's give monthly a shot. Monthly. Kurt, let's do it. Monthly? Yes, it is. Well done. A uh, lot of points on the board here. Congratulations, Quantumplaters. You win Physics Feud. We do have a fast money round. I'm going to ask you five rapid fire questions. Okay, Christine, you ready? I was born ready. What is a piece of equipment you might use to commission a linear accelerator? A diode. Name a reason you might reject a plan during initial physics check. Wrong enemies. How long does it take you to perform an initial physics chart check? Average rounded to the nearest five minutes. 25 minutes. What is your least favorite clinical duty as a physicist? Staying late. What's your favorite treat the patients bring in to share with staff? Donuts. Yeah, donuts. <laughs> yeah, good answer. All right, Kurt, here we go. Five questions, rapid fire. Are you ready? Let's do it. What is a piece of equipment you might use to commission a linear accelerator? A uh, scanning tank. Name a reason you might reject a plan during initial physics check. Uh, didn't meet those constraints. How long does it take you to perform the initial physics chart check? Uh, half an hour. Half an hour. What is your least favorite clinical duty as a physicist? Uh, let's go with uh, annual QA. It's a lot of work. What is your favorite treat that patients bring in to share with staff? Oh, they bring in chocolate. Yeah, chocolate. Well done. I'm going to go ahead and go with the top answers here. Uh, for the fast money questions, what is a piece of equipment you might use to commission a linear accelerator? Top answer is Water Phantom. 55 answered that. Number two, name a reason you might reject a plan during initial physics check. Top answer is prescription dose does not agree with the plan with 24. And number three, how long does it take you to perform an initial physics chart check? 30 minutes was the top answer with 17. And what is your least favorite clinical duty as a physicist? Weekly chart checks was the top answer with 20. 
And number five, the top answer for what is your favorite treat that patients bring in to share with staff? Top answer with 26 is cookies. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, cookies. Congratulations to the quantum platers. You have won the first business.